Good morning, happy Vlogmas day two. I am getting zit. Love pregnancy so much. Today I'm going to put out my outdoor decor. I have like a wreath and some cute little things to put on the porch. I have a ton of inflatables too, which I think my son, my three-year-old is going to love. So we're gonna put those out too. I'm gonna make some breakfast for Boston. And then I have a Bon Maman or Mama, I don't know how to say it, um, but it's like a jam, jelly, 24 day advent calendar. So I'm gonna eat some toast. I've been eating toast every day. And then I'm gonna do the yard. Finding something to wear this morning was like really emotional. I'm gonna have to go to Target and get some maternity pants because none of my jeans will button. Yay, love that. We've reached that point where it's it's time. The leggings have to come out. I'm not dressed because it is so, so cold outside today. I'm gonna pull out some of the Christmas stuff that'll go outside. I pulled out my Christmas wreath and this cute little snowman. I also have my buddy the elf wreath, but I'm not gonna put it outside. I don't want it to get ruined. So I don't have any other shaded spot like to keep it protected from the rain other than where I'm gonna put my actual Christmas wreath. I don't wanna put it on a tree and it rain or weather be bad and it ruin because it's just so funny to me. Now I have to go find all of the inflatables and I have a lot of inflatables. I have this one for the archway. This Santa Claus that actually the polar bear like looks from side to side. Boston loves Frozen. I found this little Olaf one. We're gonna do this one for him. This one is also a mystery because it has no picture. Oh, snowman. It's a snowman. And a Christmas tree. Got my garden flag ready to go. I have a garden flag for literally all 12 months of the year. And this is my front doormat and I'm gonna put this red underneath it. I almost forgot I have a little truck outside that has these interchangeable and it's time to switch the pumpkins to the Christmas tree. This is a little truck that I was talking about. I'm gonna change that pumpkin to a Christmas tree and this flag will be changed to a Christmas one. This is what it looks like. I think it's so cute. And then the flag, of course. Okay, this is how I did our front doormat and then I put the little snowman right next to him. And then our Christmas tree wreath. I got this from a small business actually in my hometown. So I don't have a link or anything to share with you guys, but isn't that gorgeous? I just think it's gorgeous. This is what the front door looks like now. For now, the inflatable will actually cover most of this archway, but for now it looks like this. It's getting so cold so fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up the arch inflatable and I may have to just go ahead and get some help from the guys to get the other ones up because the sun is just going down so early these days. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, it's like, it's 2.30 and it looks like it's gonna go down in the next two hours. Okay, I got my handy dandy steaks. This bad boy blown up. It's cold out here. It's alive. Come on, little bunny. Slowly but surely. We're getting there. Any moment now, it's gonna be full. Any moment. Now we're talking, I can feel it. I can feel it coming to life. Now we're talking, it's going up. How stinking cute is that? I mean, look at that gingerbread man. Now I have to take these little garden stakes and each of the sides has like two or three little places that it'll go into just in case it gets windy so it can stabilize it. Thankfully it rained a few days ago, so the ground is like really soft and putting those stakes in has been very easy because most of the time it's not easy. I always start at the top and kind of pull in that direction and then I'll stabilize the bottom. That looks good. I'm gonna finish the other two and then I'll show you what we got. This one is done. I think it looks so perfect right there. Now I'm gonna go inside, get the other ones and get them put out into the yard. Santa Claus and his polar bear is currently inflating. Oh, I guess that's so cute though. Like my son is gonna freak out. My youngest is gonna be amazed. 
Although he doesn't like whenever toys move, like we got him an electric RC car because he loves Hot Wheels and when it moves, it freaks him out. So this one actually might scare him now that I'm thinking about it. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. I may have accidentally broken one of the plastic stakes into the ground. So I can't get it out. <laughs> Gotta fix your stash a little bit, my dude. Look a little whiskery. It's Christmas. Oh my goodness, your, your shirt is up, my lord. Now you're looking good, Santa. You're riding a polar bear, my dude. I mean, who's cool enough to ride a polar bear? Only Santa. Now I'm going to bring out Olaf. This is the one I'm most excited about this year, just because Boston loves Frozen so much. So I really think that this one's gonna be a big hit. I need scissors. He's so much bigger than I expected him to be. It was looking really uneven with one on this side and two on that side and then one in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and put the other snowman up. Is that Olaf? Oh my goodness. Is it Olaf? Uh, Santa Claus! I am so excited with how each of these turned out. There's the Olaf and the Christmas tree and then as well as our little gingerbread house arch and then the other snowman that we put up and of course this Santa riding the polar bear that's head moves. Boston absolutely loves it. He keeps walking around each one and being like, <laughs> he keeps going back to Olaf, which is to be expected, but totally worth it. Totally worth it. It got so cold outside. I'm so glad that I got it done when I did because it is getting very dark. Now we're gonna watch Cowboys and then whenever it goes down, I'll go back out there. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some dinner. Probably something super easy because I'm tired today. <laughs> that wore me out. I'm too pregnant for this. I think I'm gonna do these spinach ricotta raviolis and I have some pesto to go with it. That'll work. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Boston. I have these randomly throughout the house now. <laughs> We finished up dinner, now I'm gonna get a coat so that I can go outside and show you guys because it's dark enough that you can see the lights. I will say, I preferred the dinner with marinara sauce. I had both pesto and marinara. The boys wanted marinara. I liked it better with the marinara. It wasn't as good with the pesto. Maybe if I had done like a, like a chicken and cheese ravioli, but that one, it was just, it was too much. tomorrow I'll do more like indoor decor and then I was thinking about making a gingerbread house but I'm so bad at it I'm so bad now I'm gonna put on some Christmas pajamas because I have nothing else to do hello <laughs> I got these from Target by the way they're so soft and comfortable you should get yourself some Thank you guys so much for spending day two of Vlogmas with me. 
It's getting very fun. It's getting very fun. The spirit of Christmas is coming alive. Thanks again. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys tomorrow.